I'm Jack Dexter, and I'm a piano technician, and I come to the camp, um, this is my second year at the camp, to teach a course in piano, ana uh, piano anatomy. Uh, and the course is really about acoustical physics. I know how I would answer or how I would go about it. And then they come up with these such interesting ways to go about it. And you really learn a lot from that. And it makes you feel like. Hey, Michael. What? Are you ready? To what? To dig. To what? Dig the Let's go. My hands are not my feet on oh, no. This is how I dig a low. This is how I dig a low. And this is how we dig a low. So I'm going to use Fear Elise. And I'm going to give you my computer voice, first of all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. can read books and instantly understand what the meaning of the words are in, when they're reading novels or books or literature or whatever. And so I want them to be able to do that in music, that they instantly are able to translate and do what they see on the music page rather than having to think, oh, this is Italian, and then it means to, um, or the word means forte, which is the word to play you know, loud or whatever, and then they do it, but by then, their fingers have already gone three or four meters beyond where they're looking at the symbol. And so I want them to instantly be able to translate and just do what they see right away. It's easy to do on board, it's not so easy to do on staff paper. I think I like all sides. That's okay, it's, uh, if somebody has to read that, sometimes it's hard to read those in slash notes. So if you're gonna go from there, and greetings. 
My name is Poe Manel. I am a piano teacher for Dancing Fingers Piano Studio, and this is in Pango Pango, American Samoa. This is our first year at Redlands University School of Music Summer Piano Camp, and I am so grateful for this opportunity to bring not only my students, but their parents and their families to learn from not only Professor Long, but all the wonderful, wonderful people here, the teachers, the staff, and also the, the aides who are helping out. We've had such a wonderful week. The weather is so beautiful, just like home. The only thing we're missing is the trade winds, but uh, the weather has been so beautiful lately, and I am so happy, and I'm sure our students, even myself, I've learned so much. I enjoy the exchange of ideas and you know sharing new information and to share the gift of music because I know it's not only a universal language but music can also bring healing so it transcends through culture barriers and for a small island group of people we have our own kind of music but to learn and extend that experience. Um, University of Redlands School of Music has given us that opportunity. It also opened a lot of opportunities for our students back home, perhaps to come here and go to school here. Hi, my name is Liana Gurr, and um, probably the most favorite part I've had from this trip here to the Redlands University I would have to say it's just meeting all kinds of wonderful people, all the students, the aides, the teachers. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have learned so much in just a week over here. So I really love the people over here, the environment. Hi, my name is Vera Wamlang Yale, and my favorite part from this camp is um, learning um, different things from these wonderful people and play activities with other students. Great. All right. Hi, my name is Fred Mamiel, and I would rather say the most beautiful thing that has happened to me is actually getting friends here. You know, making friends and having friendship. But even in sight reading, it has improved a lot with my piano skills. So I would like to thank the teachers all the teachers, either Mrs. Johnson and all the others. So, that's it. Okay, thank you, Fred. Hi, my name is Maria Toma. Well, uh, I learn a lot, different types of technique the teachers share to us when we come inside the campus. The, especially Mr. Dexter, I learn a lot from him how to tune up the piano and different types of strings that he shows to us today. and through the whole week. So thank you to all the teachers, the staff, Professor Long, especially the husband, and all the aides, and all of you. Thank you, and God bless. One, oh, that's one. is the look up. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, slide, boom, boom. Slide, boom, boom. Boom, boom. That's the one where you guys are seat, right? So do you want to do it?
Usually every year, Dr. Podan will pick a piece for all the students to learn, and it'll be a piece with different sections. And then the students just take turns playing those sections. And if they happen to have a pedal part, then they will do one student with the pedal part and one student playing the keyboard part. And they'll do the complete piece. And this year, the piece actually has narration too. So the students are taking turns playing and reading the narration. of our theory groups, and I also coached an ensemble. My name is Michael Malakudi. Um, this year I am the activities coordinator and ensemble teacher, and I also teach the harpsichord class, as well as helping out with the music fundamentals class. Thankfully. <laughs> That's awesome. What, so what's holding those strings on? These little twisters over here. Yeah, these are called the tuning pegs. And this, I mean, this one has tuning pegs too, right? Mm -hmm. So here's the similarity of the harpsichord piano, is that the strings are attached to the bridge. So what the strings do, the strings go here and attach to the bridge. piano camp was how to use different kind of video cameras and I got to sneak into different classrooms. <laughs> so what was your favorite part about piano camp this week? I like the composition class because you get to make up all your own stuff and it's really cool. All right. I really like the, the fun competitions right after lunch.
So it's kind of rough, right? But I you know, can kind yeah. of... <laughs>